Hey Mustangs, I'm Lauren Rangel and welcome back to Coronavirus on the Hilltop. Texas's mask mandate is officially gone. On Wednesday, Governor Greg Abbott's executive order to remove it began. With or without masks, COVID-19 is still here. SMU Dr. Arthi Krishnan explains what you should know about the new executive order. I know with the mask mandate being removed, it puts the onus of responsibility on the individual rather than the, um, the community as a whole. The burden of COVID is reducing, but it's not negligible. It's still out there. We have new variants that are spreading through the community currently. So there's still some unknowns out there. COVID is not, has not gone away. It's not completely gone. So I think masks are still important. As an individual, it's your right to choose to wear a mask or not. But knowing that COVID is still around, I think wearing masks is in the best interest to yourself and the community. Even if social distancing is happening, it's still good to wear a mask, particularly indoors and outdoors when there's going to be large gatherings. Incidences where you can go without a mask. The CDC has just released that people that have received the vaccination, you can be mask free with other people indoors that have also been vaccinated. <laughs> so it's a very select group and it's not the majority of people that would meet that criteria to be without a mask. So in the meantime, I think we need to continue mask wearing in general as a whole for public health well-being. While the mask mandate may be lifted, there is an exception. If a business decides to require face masks, they can do so under this executive order. Ultimately, the decision comes down to each business owner. Thanks for tuning in to Coronavirus on the Hilltop this week. Feel free to send in COVID-19 questions to at Lauren underscore K underscore Rangel. Until next time, pony up.